Hello, my name is Hiro Yamamoto and I'm from Edge Analytical Laboratories and today I'm here to give you a little demonstration on how to take a hexavalent chromium sample. This is uh, EPA 218.6. Um, first thing we do is we get a little sample kit. Uh, one of it is a bag with a little some of our um, stuff we need for our sample and we have two bottles. Now these two bottles are labeled uh, in very small print. One says filtered and the other one says uh, unfiltered. So how we're going to do this is we're going to fill the unfiltered bottle completely and then we're going to use some of our stuff in our sampling kit to filter the sample into the other bottle. So I'm going to open this up and we'll take a look at what we got. Um, inside of here we have a pipette. This is to add our uh, preservative at the end. We have a uh, little sampling syringe um, that's for, for doing our filtering. We have two filters, and then we have our preservative. So we'll keep all this stuff together. So um, let's go, uh, first we're gonna fill up the bottle and then I'll, we'll work on filtering the sample. Okay, here we are. Um, we've got uh, our grab sample of unfiltered water and we're gonna start filtering here. Now, as you know, you're, you're sampling wastewaters and things like that, so there can be quite a bit of sediment and things like that. So if you do have troubles um, and you can't get these filtered, that is something we'll, we'll talk about later. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this little syringe, fill it up with liquid as far as up as we can go, and then we're gonna take this, this is called a lure lock, it just screws gently into the, to the filter, screws gently into the uh, syringe, and then we push this in there. So we're just going to continue to do that. And of course, I have clean water here, so it's moving very smoothly. Um, if these filters do plug up, there's a spare one just in case. So as you see, I just removed that one filter. I'm going to come back in here and uh, refill my syringe. And this is a long, slow process. 10 mils at a time, you're going to take at least 10 of these. Okay? So I'm going to push this through. And if you notice that this thing is really slowing down and you can't push or water's seeping around the edges of the plunger, then it's time to change your filter. And one more thing I want to talk about is if you do get to a point where you can't push anything through this um, and you can't get to the 100 mil sample level that we need to collect, then it is, uh, we have uh, 24 hours to treat the sample. So it would be a good time to call the lab and try to get the sample the raw sample delivered to the lab where the lab can take care of filtering it for you. If you have the sample filtered, then we're just gonna put some preservative in it and put it on ice and then take it to the lab. Alrighty, now we have filtered 100 milliliters of sample and we can see that by the mark on the side of our bottle here. And now it is time to preserve it. So we have an ammonia buffer and a little pipette here for transferring the preservative. There's a one milliliter mark here right underneath the bulb here. Um, we're supposed to put one milliliter per 100 mils, so we need one milliliter in this 100 mils of sample. So I'm just gonna open up the buffer. We're gonna squeeze the pipette bulb and draw up the buffer into the pipette. It'll come up to right around the mill. There we go. And then we just drop it over here and squeeze it in. And we can just seal this up. And now we have our sample and it's preserved in there, so we're gonna seal this tightly. Now this sample, we're gonna put this in a cooler and place ice on top of it, keep it nice and cold and get it delivered to the laboratory.